Welcome to Weather Forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, December 14th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Hensworth for Longmont Public Media. Here's our reused third quarter moon from last week. We are back on track with a one lunar phase coming up each week. The sun is pretty active with sunspots north and south of the solar equator. And there's a pretty good amount of uh, laurel activity on the Earth. Looking at drought conditions, things got a little drier out on the plains and a little better on the eastern slopes. It's sort of been the trend that the storms have been dumping everything out west. Um, this latest storm kind of did a bullseye of moisture up here, so we'll see over the next week or two how the soil responds to that. Looking nationally, there's a relief in the, of the drought in the east central south area and in, in the intermountain west. Looking at our snowpack going on through we are above and went slightly below then back above normal again we're at 108 percent on average uh, statewide so it would be nice if it would go up into the purple area here and really replenish some moisture for the uh, Colorado River Basin but if we're holding our own then, then we can take what we can get. This last storm though, uh, Tuesday, did not uh, give us any significant moisture here. Uh, traces in Longmont, totally dry in Boulder. I, I was forecasting a trace to three inches for Longmont and I think I said one to four inches in Boulder. And totally uh, lifted that. It's totally not what happened. Even the mountains, very dry. Looking statewide, there's a Observation out here in Washington County of 20 to 23 inches of snow. Some of these others over here in the 5 to 13 inch area, uh, but that's just out here. You go along I 25, it's traces southeast of Denver. There's half inch to an inch or so up in the mountain. There's you know, a few inches here and there, but uh, yeah, it, it really hopped the state and then just cranked off to our northeast and dumped stuff there. Uh, this mountain precipitation has come from earlier storms in the week. This is our precipitation from the uh, blizzard that uh, was ongoing for more than a day out there. A lot of roads were closed with drifts and very low visibilities and just dangerous conditions, extremely low wind chill. This whole notch up I-25 caused by the downslope is, is very noticeable with just about nothing along there nothing at all down south of the springs. As the storm is sweeping out across the nation, we have a lot of tornado activity, some tornado outbreaks occurring, very dangerous in southern Alabama and uh, Mississippi. And then going to Thursday, a slight risk into northern Florida, southern Georgia, coastal South Carolina, and a little bit of chance of storms on the southern tip of Florida on Friday. Going to the national maps, we see this giant low the surface is centered here. Everything pinwheeling around. Uh, here's our severe weather, heavy, heavy rains, hitting the colder area. You've got ice, snow, everything wintry possible, and heavy snows up here in the uh, Dakotas and part of Montana. Uh, still going, then wrapping around behind, you have some snow uh, still occurring all the way back to Utah and Oregon. This is just a massive system. Going to Thursday, it's still in, in, back in Utah, Wyoming, Montana, with at least some snow, and the western mountains of in Colorado. This, they, they tend to really overdo this. I don't see the snow coming down uh, south of Denver all the way down to New Mexico. I just don't know what that is. Uh, lots of mixed, nasty winter stuff up here, freezing rain over wide areas of Pennsylvania. Virginia, West Virginia, Toronto, oh, crazy. There's our severe weather and heavy precipitation down there for Friday. Still getting snow in the northern tier of states as the low pulls up the east coast and the front is exiting Florida. Smoke nationwide, nothing much there. There's a little uh, fire activity in northern California uh, heading off. Looking at the next 10 days, we have temperatures staying at 42 for expected high and 17 for an expected low. Temperatures through this time are in the lower part of that uh, window until we hit this Wednesday, Thursday cold front and things get real cold again. 
So a little chance of showers on the 16th, and this is our better chance of strong. Yes, about the 22nd, that would be our really only good chance to get some snow on the ground before Christmas. So with the low here in the Dakotas, all this moisture in the water vapor satellite image wrapping around it, it pretty much dominates the weather story from coast to coast. In the upper level at 500 millibars, the low is cut off from the jet stream here, so it's not moving very quickly. That's why in the surface maps just a little bit ago, I went to the Great Lakes and then over to New England over three days. By Tuesday, we have ridging over the west, so it'll be pretty mild. For Thursday, the 22nd, this is our next good chance of precipitation coming in right there. But it's a kind of a strange, I have the low up here, it's, it's the cousin of what we just had to go by. And it's trough all the way back with a lot of the energy down here in northern Mexico, uh, too far south for us. And so there's the snow down there with snow all the way down to San Antonio, ice into Houston, freezing rain all the way over to almost New Orleans, and then rain off the coast. So, yeah, this looked really good a week ago, but that's fantasy time for models. This is much more realistic, probably. Uh, Christmas Day is a little bonus here. There's a little snow in the northeast, a little snow in the western slopes, and it could come down and get us. We'll take a look at that next week. So we're getting close to the end here with the 500 millibar animation. Here's our low rolling around with another load passing by. Those are our little chance of showers uh, <coughs> come about Friday, but it's not much. There's a, a little ripple in the s southern branch of the jet stream going through Texas. That's on the 20th. Then we have the big uh, low coming in with the trough skimming to our north. There's our chance of storminess on the 22nd as the low kind of spins up in New England. Temperatures are really interesting because with this block up in New England, we have this fetch of cold air coming out of <coughs> western Canada, Alaska, and the polar region. You can just see it's a river coming down over the nation. The blues are below normal and the purples are way below normal, 16, 15, 25 degrees below normal. You can see that front hit on the 20th. And we get a little bit of local warming before the real cold air comes. You can see how extremely sharp that is, sweeping over on the 22nd. This is our chance of precipitation. Real heat just on the other side of the Rockies. You go over to Grand Junction, it will be about 20 degrees above normal, or Denver will be 20 degrees below. You can look at the Precipitation, we got this little bunch coming through on the 16th. There goes the low up in the uh, Great Lakes with another low off of New England. Here comes the 22nd, watching that progress. There's a storminess down in Texas, not much on that one. And then the snow comes down in on the 22nd, kind of dies on the Wyoming border. It looked a lot better in earlier versions of the storm. On the 24th and 25th, there's our little Christmas chance of snow. I'm not going to say we're going to get snow then, but we'll see next week. We'll have a much better idea. All right, so over the next five days, a little precipitation in the northeast and southern mountains. Snow very spotty, mostly in the higher elevations. Next 10 days, concentrated in the northern Rockies. With good snow up there. Here's all the snow for the next 10 days predicted to fall. And since this is sort of new cold air of the nation, this is sort of a map of the white Christmases that we could see. Now, some of this may happen earlier in the cycle and be melted by the time Christmas comes, especially here in the southern states. But uh, yeah, yeah this, this pretty good uh, fraction of the nation is going to be affected by snow right before Christmas. So 40s and then dropping in the 30s with our cold front at the end of the week. We warm to about normal on the weekend and then drop again with the cold air coming in. This could be uh, a Monday uh, significantly colder than this. I just don't know if all the models are figuring out how cold that is going to be. So too early to be probably true, but I'm going to call it for partly cloudy skies. Uh, high of 39, low of 20, west winds at 8, and dry conditions except in the mountains and to the northeast where we could have some snow. 
For frequent weather updates and local news, check out longmontleader.com and bootingtailleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.